Hello guys, Sheriff here. So in the last uh, tutorial, I show you guys how to set up uh, Quest Manager. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to like implement it in um, you know in your game. So first, I wanna show you guys I have this sign here, and uh, you know those coins over there. So the way I do this is right for now we don't have anything happening. So if I walk in here, just print in player entered. So it's just an area. So I'm gonna just use that as a quest giver here so in the quest manager here these coins that are made coin quest so i have one to collect 10 coins and one to find a hidden coin and the metadata that i have attached is a coin id so the hidden coin has a different id from the regular coin so go over that let's go to the script so first on the sign so here right where we're checking the body we're just gonna do quest manager and add quest and we're gonna use what we're gonna call it the coin quest and we're gonna use this resource that i exported copy that uh, paste it so another thing is i didn't mention i have on the sign this file that i exported it's a quest resource and you could just drag whatever file you have for your quest so this contains the two quests and you're telling it to take the coin quest and add it to the player's quest now on the UI, we need to connect some signals here. So here we have the coins. Whenever we collect a coin, we increment the coins and then we change the label. So let's go over that. So in the quest manager, you have a few signals. You have a whole bunch of signals here for flexibility. You have a quest completed, you have a failed, and you have step complete, next step, and step updated. So for now, I'm going to... You have these as well so now we're gonna just use the step updated and quest complete it's up to you what you want to use depending on the quest as i try to make it very flexible so there's a lot of options for you to use you could even do check for when the quest is reset and stuff like that so let's go back to the ui here we're gonna connect a few stuff so let's first create a step updated function so we're gonna use this as the update for the UI it passes a dictionary I could say pass for now here the quest manager dot step updated dot connect and we connect that step updated function those and for the quest complete I'm just gonna use a um a lambda function oops needed so we need to pass two values here just call it u and r so one is for rewards that's a dictionary and one's the name of the quest but we're not going to use them i could but I'm just going to just say quest complete for now so i have a quest label i just say quest complete here on it that should be fine there now in here now we could check um what type of step it is to change how the data is displayed it's up to you how you display that data or you create your UI stuff like that so let's first go to check if the data data dot step type equals quest manager you know we are doing an incremental for the collect coins so incremental step so we want to display the change so whenever we select incremental we have different types of data could check the, the API for that. So first you want to get the current. This is the amount of coins you have so far. So we could just say data the current sorry not current collected and then we want the required that's data dot required. Alright and we also want the details. This is the description for the current step. Then we're gonna just set up that quest label to display all of this information. So text equals, I'm gonna use some string notation here. So quest equals s, a new line, and a pap digit, then a slash, not a digit, fails current and required 
put those in an array. All right, you could test this out just to see this bit show up. So let's make sure we check the sign that we have set up coin. Whenever that, uh, whenever we add this quest, the update gets called, and then this whole thing gets set up. So let's see if that works. Okay. Update. Oop. Okay, I messed up some. Okay, I messed up the name, I guess. Coin. Actual. Look at here. Points. That's very important. So that's a user error. Our developer error. So I put that there to remind you guys like, fun was not found in loaded resource. All right. Again. Good. There you go. Collect 10 coins and you currently have 0 of 10. So now, we don't, didn't do anything with the coins yet. So let's back in the UI. Remember, we have the coin collected here. We're going to now use the ID that I'm passing out, passing here from the coin. Look at that coin itself. So if the body entered, gets emitted as collected, passes that coin ID. And the default is 1. And for the hidden coin, uh, it's this going back here. We have that as two. All right. So what we need to do is go here and see. Oop, not in the coin in the UI. Whenever we call it the coin. Say uh, quest manager dot has quest. Remember, you don't want it to crash if there's no um the player didn't actually accept the quest. So we could just check for coins. So if we do have the quest if we do have the quest you want to get the metadata for that quest so data equal quest manager dot get metadata and pass in the coins name again so this only has the id so we could just say if id equals data dot coin id that's this id here then we say progress quest. So quest manager dot progress quest. Pass in the quest name as well as the item that we want to collect. So coins, I think it was in an S. Yep, coins here. Incremental step. Okay. And that should be good. Let's test this out by all right. Let's accept that quest by walking up to it. Collect 10 coins. Now we could walk and collect all 10 of these. 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There you go. So we just completed that quest. So if you want to get um, rewards for the quest, let's go back to here. here add a reward to it drag this guy out words so you just get 10 more coins so coins 10 but check that again really i want to just print that out so let's go up to here probably should make it a function right and let's just print out the rewards all right eight nine there you go. Here's the coins as ten as the reward. Sure what this error is, but I'm going progress quest error call in sync. Okay, it's just a warning. So it passes the whole table. Okay, that's fine. So what it's happening here is that was just my mistake. Yes, some inconsistencies here I wanna fix, but that's gonna be in another update. All right, so for the other quest, the hidden coin, we just go back in the UI, and we, all we need to do is do a check for the other quest. So in the coin collected now, just wanna say if, let's just copy this whole thing. It's basically the same steps. Copy, pasta, change up a few stuff, like hidden coin here. Hidden, just wanna paste these guys in. All right. So now, what we need to do is go back to the sign. Instead of giving it the coins quest, we're giving it the hidden quest. 
Let's double check if that's the actual name, hidden coin. And remember that coin at the back is the ID of two. We could just test that. Oop, I didn't do one thing. So we have to actually update the UI as so right here. Let's see if data that step type. Very important step type equal quest manager dot action step. Just want to save our details. Because an action step is just do something. So that's basically the details. So the details. We could just say quest label dot text equals test that's that. All right, so now let's go here. When I walk here, it should say find hidden coin. I could walk all the way around. Okay, so remember this as an ID of two, so it should work. So go here and there you go, quest complete. So just a tip, I'm actually planning to change the system, how it works. But for now, I'm gonna leave it as is. So I want it to have more of a in event base. So each quest um, will be its own object and they'll just update eventually. instead of us calling that quest um, progress quest function. Each step will just know what it needs to do. That makes sense. I'm not sure if I'm explaining it right, but I'm trying to figure out a better way to do it. But you could tell that it's kind of complicated. Right? Like how you'd manage a lot of quests. But yeah, so Let's see, uh, that should be it for the video. So, thanks for watching, guys, and like and subscribe. See you in another one later.